I am Dr. Shudip Dash, presently Professor and Head of the Department of Calcutta National Medical College. I am associated with Nightingale Hospital, Wisdom Money Square, Wisdom Shakespeare Sharoni, GNB Diagnostics, Kakurugachi. I have my own clinic in Madhyam Gram, which is Manju Memorial Clinic, and also with Eastern Diagnostics, Media Galif Street. Warts, which is known as Condyloma Acuminata. Vagin the ure it may be urethral warts, it may be vaginal warts. Warts are commonly due to sexual transmission, although it can arise de novo also. Now, warts, what do we note to the warts are called condyloma acuminata. They are have they do develop when one infected male develops sex with another infected male or female. The it can develop in multiple areas. It can develop on the coronal area, on the prepucial area, near the frontal arm in males, or the introitus or the labia minora in the females. Now, the guidelines, recent guidelines, what they say, if you should look for one, whether the number of the words, whether they are one to five or more than five. If it is less than five, you start with ablative therapies. You can go straight away for the ablative therapies, which may be cryocautery, which may be electrocautery, or you can go for it, or if it is not that, then you can go for immunotherapy in the form of imiquimod, semiketamines or even now the BCG vaccinations or uh, MMR vaccinations that are done. If the, this doesn't develop in the next two months, it doesn't he go down, then in probably you can think of ablative therapies and serial ablative therapies in this case because the number is high. So, serial ablative therapies followed by immunotherapy again. So, that is the recent guidelines that we follow with regard to the warts. So, warts are highly contagious they actually they should be detected and they should be destroyed that is the main thing now destruction since now large number develops if large number you need to do immunotherapy instead of ablative therapies at the first go and if it is less than five go for ablative therapy at the first go along but all patients should be tested for hiv and vdrl that is as per the naco guidelines that is national aids control organization guidelines as well as the cdc guidelines now regarding contract tracing, all patients who have sex, so who had STD, so their sexual partners should be looked for to prevent their dissemination into the society. Otherwise, you it will be if it will fl flourish through all the virus like. See, you are seeing coronavirus or isolation. So, similar isolation procedures are also there, not that much, but here you should do a contract tracing. The health worker or the concerned doctor should ask his sexual partners and also preferably test them or get them tested so that or check them or clinically check them whether they have the same time some symptoms of sexually transmitted disease. So, this is in a nutshell how we treat the STDs, and STDs should be treated by a qualified dermatologist ideally other, otherwise you can land up in resistance because what happened is that if you are giving more than one drugs in say for treat gonorrhea so now a gonorrhea resistance strains, ceftriaxone resistance strains, strains have come uh, ciproloxin resistance strains have come so what happens if you do not uh, do random treatment you are likely to end in resistance and one day will come when no drug will act so there you should be cautious and you should always look for judicious use of antibiotics. That is the most important thing here. So consult a qualified dermatologist before for the treatment of STDs. Do not go here and there. Thank you friends for watching this video. If you want to contact me, contact careclues.com and find me.